Hello there, it is I, Christine Alexandra. We have a special guest with us today. Meet Linus. He has decided that he must, 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 must be the assistant for this week, December 13th, 2021, using the Angel Chatter Oracle Cards. And this week's message is brought to you by Archangel Raziel with the message of follow your intuition. Now, if you're not familiar with this deck, it is one of 44 cards that I, guess what, channeled the deck and guidebook in two weeks many years ago. This was actually my very first product a long time ago, which launched an entire sacred aromatherapy line, candles, misters, droppers, and jewelry using each angel's sigil, and it has grown since. So if you want to know more about those, go to angelchatter.com and we'll see what Linus wants to say in addition to me poking around his <laughs> little head. I purposely am leaving him in the video just in case you're wondering. Does it look professional? I don't know. I don't care. But this is indeed my life and this is about rolling and going with the flow and following your, you like the card? Intuition. So intuition... You probably know third eye is where we have all those clairs, the clairvoyance, the clairaudience, the clairsentient, all of those clairs, you know, getting that intuitive hit. But you know, sometimes, as Raziel likes to point out, it's not the intuitive hits are incorrect, but we get confused what is an intuitive hit versus what the ego is telling us. Because guess what? Ego lives up here. So here, here, it's kind of all the same, you know, little apartment building. And it can get confusing. So Raziel, being the wise angel, because wrote the first book, Book of Raziel, very first book ever written, look it up, decided to say, you know what, I'm going to get your attention by sharing the message, follow your intuition, but change it to follow your heart. And this is quite powerful. And it's not one of those, oh, follow your bliss, follow your heart. It's not that. It is so not that. But it is listening to the wisdom of your heart. So did you know that your heart is the birthplace of your soul? Think about that. Your heart right here, that organ that keeps you alive, energetically is the birthplace of your soul. Doesn't that make sense? You're getting chills? Getting chills on that truth? Because it is the truth. So, if it is indeed the birthplace of your soul, which it is, would your soul ever lie to you? Of course not. Would your soul always tell you the truth? Of course it will. So, the message could be Follow your heart, follow your soul. And if you're not sure, because sometimes, you know, when we start that, when we really start digging deep into our journey, which is the one of the things, you know, I love doing as I mentor beautiful clients, just like you around the world, host them in our home, teach in all the various programs, written all those books for just you. We start really embarking, we start paying more attention and we want to be all that because we deserve to be all that but sometimes it gets confusing hmm. or hmm, not sure so here's one clue if the message is demeaning that says you're not good enough or you can't ever and who do you think you are that's all ego which is actually your inner child having a bit of a temper tantrum to get your attention to keep you in that safe bubble. Your heart, your soul will push you because sometimes, you know, it gets a little comfy just to sit back in the chair and watch the world go by, doesn't it? But now if we decide to actively listen to our soul, actively ask and then shh, listen, Oh my gosh, the magic, the magic that happens then is so profound. 
how to do it. Whew. Hands over your heart. The longer you are with me in my world, you'll see me read that I suggest this regularly. Place your hands over your heart. Get really quiet. Do it. Come on with me right now. Do it right now. Close your eyes. Feel your chest rise and fall. Your mind begins to soften. You may feel a little smile creeping onto your face. Your breath pattern slows. You actually feel the beating of your soul. That is your soul's cadence. That is your unique beat. Hmm. Use your body as a pendulum. Simply say, show me yes. So for me, it goes backwards. Show me no. For me, it goes forward. It may differ for you. Hmm. And start with simple things, things you don't have to double guess. Is my name Christine? Well, of course. Is my name hmm. George? Hmm. Of course, it's not. <laughs> so simple things. And the more confident you get by asking those little bit harder yes or no questions, you begin to get insights. You begin to ask more questions. And sometimes, ultimately, those questions will have a deeper meaning. They'll not be a yes or no. And you'll want, believe it or not, a dissertation on how you may help you even more. And it all starts with follow your heart. <sighs> that is all thanks to Raziel. Thank him so much. It's part of the Angel Chatter Oracle card deck. I hope you enjoyed this video for the week of December 13th, 2021. I am Christine Alexandria. If you are on social media, come on, come follow me. If you're on Facebook, come follow me. Come join our sacred space called Angel Chatter. We have a blast. We keep it sacred, believe it or not. Even on Facebook, it is sacred space. No spamming, no politics allowed. And when you're ready, get the deck. Reach out, have a session with me, have a mentor package with me. We have a limited number of spaces left for the VIP weekend for the coming year. And, but... Even better right now, get the 2022 roadmap. It's using either the Angel Chatter Oracle deck or the Empowered Heart card deck. I have channeled different messages that are not in those decks and guidebooks. So if you already have them, thank you very much. But the messages you get month by month are different than what you already have. It includes a ritual for each card. For each month, you get a message. You get a ritual and you get an affirmation, and it's all delivered to you in a beautiful email document. <sighs> Follow your heart. I'm Christine Alexandria, and until next week, I hope you have a great one. Bye for now.